It's the behavior of some private sellers that exploits something which was not intended by the law. And I call that a loophole. Which was the transfer of firearms between relatives or the transfer of firearms between friends or the transfer of firearms in, in, in a, a disposition of getting rid of your own collection. Now there are a lot of people who go to these uh, gun shows, they're not getting rid of their collection. They are acting as unlicensed dealers. They are buying and selling, and they are selling sometimes exactly the same gun that the licensed dealer is selling on the table next door. And why should, if we are allowed to, to uh, do something about the, the, the sale of weapons, why should one table have a one set of rules and another table have the, a different set of rules when they're next to each other in the same event. The issue is, as Andy pointed out, unlicensed sellers, people who are not actually private sellers doing private transactions, but who are making a living and flying under the radar. Well, their FFL, their Federal Firearms licensed, uh, uh, licensed dealers at the next table are having to comply with the law. So this is, a, this is an issue of, of inequity on the seller's side and uh, a continuing threat to public safety on, on the buyer side. Because the people going to the uh, private, quote unquote, seller, so they can avoid a background check, apparently are doing that for a reason. Are those people that we want to buy firearms without a background check? I would say no. slight premium on the gun which is being sold from the table with no background check. Where is that premium coming from? Why, why would a person pay $350 from one table where they could get it from the other table for $300 probably with a guarantee? Right. And by the way, the it's obviously because they couldn't get it from the other table because they wouldn't pass the background check. The evidence for this is available on the internet and on YouTube because Colin Goddard and Omar Samaha and others have gone undercover at gun shows throughout the country not only in the East Coast, but throughout the country, to show what's going on inside those gun shows. Um, it's been aired on national television, on ABC 2020, and other programs, so it, it's incontrovertible that this is, in fact, going on. Um, the NRA will try to discredit the videos and try to suggest that somehow they don't reflect reality. They reflect reality exactly, which is why the NRA is worried about it.